Hey, it's Scott from Collective. Today, we're going to talk about how business leaders are accelerating digital transformation. The way that they're doing this is by using technology to turn their gatekeepers into innovators. According to Forbes, accelerated digital transformation is actually one of the top five priorities for business leaders in 2023. Organizations that aren't investing in their new technologies and digital transformations are going to find themselves left behind by their competitors. I'll tell you a little story that actually just happened today. I was on a sales call with a potential client who works in sales, marketing, operations. He sort of said, oh, you should probably be talking to my IT department. This is a perfect example of a gatekeeper. He didn't even know that he had the right to talk to someone like us to help him with his digital transformation. IT's always been seen as this mythical creature. So they hold on to all the technology, they give you a output based off of some requirement and pretty much all the budget and all of the resources need to be approved and gone through them. This is a great thing for continuity, for security, like we don't disagree with that. But as a business leader, you can take on some of that initiative and try to improve your digital transformation internally. We find ourselves working with departments, you know, finance, sales, marketing, and they're leading the charge for taking control of their own data. What we're gonna get into now is ways you can turn your gatekeepers into innovators. We're gonna use technology and I'll show you how. Power BI contains a lot of internal processes that are built to make things simpler and repeatable so that every time you get some new information, all those steps are saved for you and your reports just work. Taking things that might be stored on people's computers, who knows where, their C drive, and you're bringing it into a shareable, workable space that any user can access and edit and download reports from. There's not an analyst that needs to jump in and start typing in numbers and copying, pasting, and sharing things via email. Now it's really centralized, it's really easy to use, and it lets you focus on decisions and not editing data. I was talking with a client last week. They consider themselves a little behind the times on data and how they store it and how they report on it. We looked at their processes and found we would have had to create 20 different exports from their system just to create a simple report. We spoke with their ERP system and we got an API connection set up. And now we're starting to run reports automatically, write in a Power BI report with connections to their source system and completely bypassing Excel altogether. Connecting emails to updating files to pushing requests to SQL Server and pushing requests to Azure and Power BI and Excel. All these tools are able to talk to each other through this internal API system that is called Power Automate. We use this with clients all the time who have maybe legacy systems. Let's say you're getting an export from email on your system every morning. You can use Power Automate to capture that, bring it into a shared location, and use that as a source for reporting for various tools such as Power Apps, Power BI, and etc. We can use Power Apps to take over some manual processes that are either on pen and paper, stuck in Excel. It's a way to replace some outdated systems with a cloud-focused system that will work with all the other Microsoft applications. Some of the places we've seen this used are for employee tracking, vacation tracking, as a replacement for access. Power Apps can replace a lot of that functionality in the cloud. Really, the sky is the limit for Power Apps. Azure is usually seen as more of like a IT focused, a little bit spooky environment, but you can be your own gatekeeper by not utilizing Azure to its full extent of how it can help you in your org. It's just a really helpful tool for you. It's really accessible for folks like consultants and IT to collaborate with you on what you'd like to do. It's enterprise scale ready. So as you start working through some solutions in Power BI and Power Apps and Power Automate, you as a business user, me as a consultant and your IT department all have access and all understand how it works so that this solution that you create, you know, it's really approachable 
and really manageable. So I was working with a client. He is having some issues with tying out his reports to some printed style reports that he had had before. And because of how accessible Azure is, within a few clicks, I was able to take a look at some of that code and found just you know a few little errors in logic because of how extensible Azure really is. Uh, I was able to find that error and fix it for him and he was back on his way. Uh, it was actually a really short engagement, but it was really valuable for him. So I hope uh, some of what I've gone over today has resonated with you as a business leader. You obviously don't want to get in your own way of moving forward, digitizing, becoming more analytical and more data driven. So some of these technologies I really want you to focus on and find out where they can add value for you. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Make sure to visit gocollective.com and let us know how we can help you in your digital transformation journey.